I highly recommend that you do not proceed. But it looks like that you're not gonna be taking that advice, right? So make sure you got your bob of war, hide your kids. Remember to hide your wives as well. Some of you don't have wives. Tough love. Go get you a wife and hide your wife right now. Like this video, share this video. Let's go. The following Let's video. Two friends who work at a hotel are playing with an elevator that's going down to the floor below. Uh-oh. Okay. My co-worker and I wanted to race. Both friends are racing against the elevator, running to the second floor before it gets there first. But while heading over, something happens inside this elevator that neither like friend that. could explain. This is what was caught. I like that. I like that. All right, let's see what happened. So the camera... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, so the camera is in the elevator, right? I think the camera is going to capture something, and they're going to look at it later on. Okay, let's see what happened. I'm hyped for it, bro. We got stuck inside the stairwell. Meanwhile, my phone was still here. So her phone. Holy crap. Bruh, 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 bruh. So they're not here. Okay, so it closes. Oh, shit. So... Nothing. They're really slow though. Where are you guys at? Uh oh. Opens again. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh man. That okay, this freaked me out. <laughs> oh shit. Although Bro, she looking scary right there. What the hell? An appearance of this girl is startling on its own. It's what happens earlier that's by far the most baffling. Immediately after arriving to the second floor, its door, for some reason, begins to open and close while staying on the same floor. But even stranger is that a faint voice is heard inside the elevator. Mm -hmm. yeah. It kind of sounds like it's saying, mm-hmm, or something along those lines. Now, neither friend could explain this, but surprisingly, this incident is just one of many. It would be at this exact hotel where the two friends work at that another peculiar incident had occurred. Take a look. Oh no. We're getting yeah, crazy yeah, 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 calls yeah, 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 from yeah. this room that is unoccupied in the second floor. And this is like the third time it's happened. And okay. uh, I'm bringing you all along with me, so... Um, makes sense, makes sense. Do not um, enter, it says. Honey, I'm home. And it's starting to become a little quiet. A little quiet. Scans it, opens the door, door unlocked, flicks the light open, and as he does it, the lights do not turn on. But what happens next? What happens? <laughs> door closes, I think. Turns on the light. Okay. Okay. Oh, phone. No one's calling, no one's here. Everything's bruh, chilling. Bruh, 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 bruh. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy crap. Well, yeah, what's... okay. So he stares at it. No one here, no phone calls. I'm out. This is weird. What happened? Can a brother perhaps get to have brightness up? where this guy was like staring at and looking at can a brother perhaps get that brightness upped version the room itself is already creepy enough but the fact that someone as he mentions has been calling from this room makes it even more unsettling oh, while the God. employee doesn't state if he had seen anyone or anything inside he goes on to say that something very strange was caught in this room just a few days ago this incident was actually captured by his co-worker who was setting up new for I was recording for a vlog. The light in this room doesn't work, so we had to work in the dark. Okay, stop. This is scary. We were setting up furniture for some rooms, and we were the only two inside. Uh, cannot read here. On the whole floor. Furniture in this room. Mind you that during this time, the second floor wasn't occupied, meaning that all the rooms on this floor were devoid of any guests. It was just both employees working inside this room when this was caught. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, how do you <laughs> up the stairs? I don't know, but I mean, I... Mo, 
out of the way, ladies. Bad, but no, don't feel bad. It's just terrible. <laughs> Getting the water. Clean it real quick. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The mirror? Yeah. And Wait, what? So, my sister, she graduates in two days. Oh and I my asked for the God. Whole weekend because, because, like, we're gonna. Holy crap, so somebody's like standing behind, right? Oh man. Here? In yes. this corner? The right corner. Okay. Or Please. in that corner. Okay, nothing. There. I don't know. I mean, like, I know it's super dark right now, but I feel like personally it would look better in this area. Yeah. There's just. I think it would look better there. Okay, yeah, definitely would look better there. Too much backlight. There's like not enough good. I don't know. That's I'm true. sorry I for mean, that you impression. Can see if someone's trying to like break into your room. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. All right. I know, you know. what you mean. <laughs> In the mirror, a distinct outline of a pitch black silhouette can be seen in the corner of the room. It appears to stand there while seemingly observing the girls do their job. For only a brief moment do we see the tall figure in the mirror, but as the camera pans to the corner where the figure was spotted, it's no longer there. Like before, the girls were freaked out beyond belief. They have no idea as to who or even what had been in the room, but they'd rather not know, let alone go back inside, as the whole encounter has left them pretty spooked. Yeah. Whether it's the elevator acting up or the constant phone calls made from this room, they can't shake the feeling that something mm. very strange is going on with the second floor of the hotel. As of now, here's what I gotta say, Boo Boo. Some things are better off not knowing. And as we dive into the next plot here, guys, real quick, I wanna say, what if something happens to this channel? Because you never know. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But. You never know, right? I want to say these are all my social media account. Obviously, like, I'm more of a gamer. I got a main channel. That's where I post gaming. Uh, uh, but but uh, I'm also doing this content on the other side. But my my main Twitter, X, is about the main channel, okay? The gaming channel. But if you wanna and you have uh, Twitter or X or Instagram or Twitch, if you have any, if you use social media, make sure you follow these accounts. I would love to have you there. Let me show you some... Let me show you some kishish. All right, let's get back to the content now, boo-boo. Now, there haven't been any updates, but until then, let me know your thoughts on this one. Yeah, I think it possessed. It is possessed. But wasn't that scary, though? But the story, yeah! Now, this next video comes from a man who, while being alone at home, spots something out of the corner of his eye. It happened while being in his living room, scrolling on his phone. For some reason, he couldn't shake the feeling that someone was watching him. Paranoia was getting the best of him, as he thought, so he tried his best not to think much of it. Okay. But just when he started to ease up, he sees it. A yeah. figure standing at his window. He immediately takes out his phone to record it, on the off chance that no one would believe him. Now we don't see the figure on camera, but something else happens that terrifies him to his core. Holy. This is what he caught. Uh-oh. Okay, look, I'm really tripping out now. Something was looking at me through the window. And I heard. I heard. Oh no. I'm freaking oh. the fuck out. Oh. <laughs> bruh, bruh, bruh. oh my god. Oh my god. The reflection is killing me on the turning around. Clear, 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 not clear. Maybe not clear. Maybe clear. Probably not. Yeah. No, bro. Stop, 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 stop. Chill, chill quick, chill quick, chill quick. Holy crap. Okay. So you're telling me he was moving this slow that you had to eight times the speed? No. Watch nothing. Nothing's gonna happen. Watch nothing happens. Oh, shit. The way he's moving this low is killing me right now. What you mean? Sent me here. Bruh, 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 bruh. Yo, what the you fuck? I'm, man, I'm a man, bro. Why am I this scared, bro? I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm strong. Not independent, though. No. Oh, no. shit. Uh, no. Holy crap. So, a knife actually falls out like that or flies like that yeah that's that's bad that is bad what initially comes off as just a video of someone being paranoid is in fact footage of something completely different this is made obvious by the sudden movement of kitchen items 
but even before that, the man's overwhelming sense of unease makes it clear yeah. that something strange is going on. Whatever it might be that's happening, the man hopes to get more of it on camera. And even if he doesn't, then at least he can rest assured that this was captured. Yeah, th nah, this is bad, but I gotta man the F up. Hey, ah, 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 ah. At around 3 in the morning, a truck driver is heading northbound on the I-57, when suddenly Ooh. he begins... So April 15 are almost 3 in the morning. That was recently though! When are you guys watching this video in 2050? Imagine you are. Imagine somebody really is watching this video in 2050, right? Or 5 years from now, 10 years from now, and, and they discovered this uh, rabbit hole of videos. You never know, man. ...to panic. Something had just appeared in his field of vision, and whatever it was, it made him feel terribly disturbed. The person driving is known as Ken McGill, and throughout all his road trips and delivering goods, nothing as unsettling as this has ever occurred. Not sure what he saw, he pulls to the side of the road and reviews the footage captured by his dash cam. Looking at the video, he was glad to have pulled over far away from what he'd seen. This is what he caught. Oh, I'm assuming something will. Oh shit! Amy ultimately agreed. Yeah, did you see that? Do not, do not rewind. Do not rewind, guys. Out of Don't nowhere, rewind. a person dressed in white appears close by. They almost seem to come out of nowhere before leaving out of sight. It happens quickly, but not so fast that it. Yeah, this right here. That is crazy. So he's on a truck. Looks like a normal sized human. I was gonna say looks like a child, but uh, but but yeah, the dash cam must be higher, and he's in a truck, so looks like a normal sized human. Looks like a chick, actually. Yeah. It's overlooked. Ken is no doubt thankful that he caught this, but he's also completely terrified, and for good reason. Only a day later, after posting this video, an accident had occurred at this exact spot. Reports indicate that those involved in the accident saw a lady dressed in white in the middle no of the road, way. causing them no to swerve the car to avoid hitting her. However, when interstate police looked at security footage that caught the event, they only saw the car swerving and crashing, but not the lady they claimed to have seen. It appears that they swerved for no apparent reason. While those in the accident swear that they saw a woman, Ken believes that something supernatural had appeared. Whether ghost or not, this whole incident continues to baffle him. Meanwhile, I'm like getting my uh, I'm in the process of getting my driver's license, right? I'm like learning and they're teaching me like the street signs and all that, right? You need to learn the highway signs. They're not teaching me this. I need to learn this too. What happens if I see this in front of me? I don't want to swerve my car around, right? They need to be teaching that too. Yay. Like the video if you agree. <laughs> Man, this is crazy though. Uh, yeah, I don't wish this on anybody because imagine you're going 100 uh, kilometer per hour on a highway and you see this and obviously like you're not going to think twice. You're going to be like, yeah, that's a real person and you, want, you don't want to hit yourself. You don't want to hit them and you don't want them hitting your car and you hitting them, vice versa, right? You don't want to crash. You don't want to cause an accident, right? So therefore you're going to either go left or right and it's like yeah what if there's a car around what if you lose your balance and control of the yeah it, it's f this situation is aft um. yeah. on a wednesday night a family shoots a video to record a special occasion it's someone's birthday and they just got surprised the person whose birthday is being celebrated is known as danny and although expecting a surprise party from his wife and kid he was not expecting the following incident what was caught during this moment has left the family immensely terrified. So this is Danny's video. So uninvited. My birthday was the other day, and my wife surprised me with some sorbet, and my son blows out my candles. <laughs> After relighting the candles, Bruh. I looked at the footage and saw something. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa. Now it happens real fast, but in case you missed it, here it is again. This time I got you. Got you right there, man. It's hard to see at in. first, but if you slow the footage and watch closely, you'll notice what looks to be a figure standing behind the family. Only there for just a split second does it appear on camera, leaving Danny unsure as to what was captured. Thinking that his eyes were deceiving him, or that it was just his own shadow, he takes a second look. But after seeing this multiple times and sharing this clip with others, he's come to realize that something was in fact behind him. So then, just who or what was at his party? Yeah, don't look behind you while watching this video. Now, just like the previous video, this one involves a family celebrating someone's birthday. Happy birthday, dear Ben! 
My man so proud right now, my man like, yeah. Like any birthday celebration, a candlelit cake is placed before the honored guest. But there's something about this video that sets it apart from any other festive moment caught on camera. While friends and family sing happy birthday, this happens. What happens? Happy what birthday, happens? dear Ben. This? Behind her? Happy birthday oh, to what? you. What? Yo! What? Yo! Go on, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday, dear Ben. Happy birthday. Oh. Holy, yeah, it's as though you see the flame like go this direction as though like somebody from here like blew the candle D Yeah, it could be air, but the way it felt it, it yeah, it feels suspect. It feels suspect, but but still it's like Yeah, it could be the wind probably not But maybe perhaps some th I know it it feel it, it's suspect. It's suspect Just like viewers Ben, the birthday boy is caught off guard upon yeah, seeing smoke rise from huh? his cake it wasn't until looking down that he realized his candles had been blown out. He didn't blow them, and neither did anyone else, according to the party. Yet if no one blew out the cake, then what did? This video becomes even stranger when looking at the footage taken from a different perspective. From this angle, we have a closer look at the candles, but it's the way in which they're supposedly blown that makes this incident baffling. They baffling, appear to go yeah. out as though someone or something had been right in front of the cake. Yet the only person who's closest to it is Ben, who clearly doesn't do anything. Yeah. I mean, he does a lot. He probably does a lot of things in, in life, my man. Like, Bruh. you cannot be like, he doesn't do anything. Like, come on, bro. Like, that's, like, come on, bro. Like, nah, bro. Like, he probably does a lot of things in his life. I, I mean, I'm joking around, but it is quite baffling. Ben has me baffled, absolutely. Hashtag baffle gang. It isn't certain as to what exactly happened that day, but if viewers had a guess, they would assume something unexplainable had taken place. Uh oh. If you caught something creepy oh. on, can send them bad. Let's get back to the video. Let's get back to the content, boo boo. In this next video, a child is getting ready to go to school when something very strange happens. It was on a Monday. Bro, back in the days we actually walked to school. Bruh. Back in the days we, ac we actually walked. Nowadays, kids be using. Uh, is it called Segways? Uh, kids be using electric scooters. By the way, I have an electric scooter myself. <laughs> But back in the days, I didn't have that, you know? Back in the days, we actually walked to school, guys. Like the video if you actually walked to school in, in, when you were, were a kid, man. At around like, 7 a.m. that this happened, he was packing his lunch for school at a time when no one else was awake. It was just him, alone downstairs in the kitchen. This is where the mother claims to have heard her son screaming out of his lungs in the most gut-wrenching manner. The video captures this, but there's also something else that's caught that no one in the family could explain. This is their footage. It's number two, and he got me intrigued right now. I'm anticipating the worst. Oh, shit. A voice with perfect clarity is heard on camera. How did you find me? And yeah, the kid is like completely in horror. Uh, do they have Alexa or... Y you know what I mean, right? Like, uh, maybe it was that. Okay, no Alexa, then yeah. Holy shit. The mother's son claims that it came from the kitchen, yet no one had been downstairs during this time. The whole space was empty, apart from her son being there. But as it seems, he wasn't alone. Yeah. Now this whole incident gets even creepier when listening to the story provided by the mother. According to her, this is what happened after her son came bolting into the bedroom upstairs. There's gotta be... Uh, like, the kid must have felt something, right? Not just this day, but I feel like that there's probably a history, right? Something must have happened before that made him a little bit scared. And, and uh, you know, it's like a build-up, right? And we're seeing the climax happen in real time where the kid just breaks down. Because if it was, like, the first time, I don't think he would have reacted that way. I think this has happened multiple times. He probably had experienced some stuff b before this, too. He said that he heard a voice coming from the cabinets. Um... That said to him, how did you find me? Um, when he dropped his noodles, he ran upstairs, came busting in my room, 
jumping all over my bed, hiding in the corner, screaming and hollering, saying he didn't want to die. Somebody was in the house, somebody was in the house, telling me to get my because somebody was in the house, somebody was in the house. And I'm like, and he finally did get a little bit quiet. We started hearing footsteps. Yeah. I mean, big, Uh-oh. heavy feet coming up the steps. So, like, now at this point, I'm terrified. I, I throw my robe on. I push him into the room with his brothers. As she states, the sound of footsteps going up the staircase was heard just moments after her son came running into the room. Everyone else had been inside the room, so she had no clue as to who was on the staircase. But after watching this video, she now knows. Either someone was actually there, or, as many believe, something beyond comprehension had paid them a visit. Oh Whatever the God. case might be, her son's guttural scream will stand out as the most horrifying part about this incident, according no. to the mother. Okay, so they also heard loud footsteps coming up there. So we, uh, we're not told the backstory. Maybe there's no backstory. Maybe d nothing like that happened before. And this was, this was like the first time. Still, I mean, crazy. Th this was, I mean, crazy. But they never mentioned about Alexa. I, I don't think they had then. Because if they did, the guy, the kid would have, ha wouldn't have broke down like this. Number one. In this last video, a couple of nurses are working the night shift at a hospital in Dallas, Texas, when things get very strange. This video was taken on a certain floor of this hospital, where many patients claim to have seen unexplainable things. On this particular night, two nurses are cleaning up a medical station when this is captured. Okay, you have to listen very closely. Did you hear her? Yes. You hear her? Hmm. I don't know. I was sitting in the door, we were working up. We were working up. It's very faint, but if you raise the volume, you'll hear what sounds like a little girl humming or even giggling. You hear her? It's easy to miss the first time, but upon hearing it, you won't miss it again. You'll notice this after watching the following video in which another nurse at the same hospital captures this. Um. That was you. No, I swear to God. Was that something? <laughs> Once again, the same humming sound is heard. Keep in mind that no one was occupying these rooms during this time, ruling out the possibility of this having been a patient, or at least a physical one. Because apparently, nurses believe that the humming sound is being made by the spirit of a little girl who was once a patient at this hospital but passed away. Whether or not that's the case remains uncertain, but regardless, this video is still missed. Yeah, like you hear a lot of uh, these type of cases from nurses though. Like, um, I, I know there is, uh, I, I was getting comments from a viewer, not sure if they're going to be watching this video or not, but somebody, I'm not sure, male, I'm assuming it's a uh, she, so she's a nurse, uh, and she was telling me like, uh, yeah, she actually heard a lot of these cases because she's a nurse. If you're a nurse, and you're in Montreal, because you told me that you're in Montreal, and you're a nurse. Let me know your experience. Uh, maybe you're not even watching this video. Maybe you are. I don't know when I hear your take on it. But yeah, absolutely wild. Guys, the night is still young, man. The night is still young. Click on this video on the screen. We got the la last episode. Check out the last episode right here. And I'll see you right there. On the left, we got something else, though. So check it out instead if you don't want to keep watching these.